Yep, I think I see the problem. So you've had uh, slow program loading, poor multitasking, and overall sluggish performance lately. That combined with what I found when checking the system's random access memory usage, I'd say you've got all the telltale signs of a memory leak. <laughs> and we're back. Now the term memory leak is used to describe a range of communication errors that result from poorly written application programming that reduce the available amounts of dynamic heap memory. You see, whenever we start up a program on our computers or other devices, a request for hardware resources known as a system call is triggered. And in the case of RAM, it reserves chunks or blocks of application heap memory for a program to occupy while it's doing whatever it is the programs on your computer do. When you're finished with that and you exit a program, these reserved blocks of RAM are supposed to be cleared for later use or reallocated to another running program that needs them. The issue of leakage arises whenever an application fails to communicate that this reserved memory can be cleared, causing it to be ostensibly locked in time and space, or when a program stacks requests for repeated tasks on top of each other instead of starting and closing them as needed until all RAM is consumed and the OS is forced to use lead-footed hard drive space as a reserve, at least on PCs, that is. So let's give an example of what this might look like if your web browser was causing a memory leak. You'd open up yet another tab and fire up a website and a chunk of RAM would be assigned. You'd open another and boom, chunk of RAM again. Well, imagine your sister walked in and you closed that first site quickly before she could see it was the fan site you made about her best friend. But instead of actually closing down the running process when the tab was terminated, your computer simply made it disappear making it difficult to track down what's using all that RAM. So now we know what a memory leak is, so how do we diagnose them? Well, first we can look at system specs versus the tasks that the user is trying to perform, and if performance is painfully sluggish relative to that, it might be a problem. Then you can fire up good old Task Manager or a third-party app if you're on a phone, and either monitor it periodically for gradual increases in RAM usage that just pile up over time, or by tracking down the typical application memory usage to compare to what you're seeing on the Google. Not to mention that other Googlers complaining about a leaky program is another solid indicator. All right, so we've gotten this far, then how do you fix the blooming things once you find them? Well, a couple of ways. Number one, did you try turning it off and turning it back on again? No, seriously. A restart will force hardware resources to be given up until they're requested again. Number two, if the problem is caused by your operating system, <laughs> Well, you're probably stuck waiting for an update. And number three, if the problem is caused by a sloppily coded program or game, check for updates again. And if there aren't any, then I guess the only solution is to toss them. Because if a manufacturer can't be bothered to make sure their software operates correctly, then they don't deserve your business. That is, unless, of course, you've already given it to them. Speaking of already giving them your business, lynda.com. You can give them your business without even committing to anything. You get 10 days of free trial by clicking on the link in the video description. Well, hold on a second, Linus. What is lynda.com? Well, it's the site where you can watch and learn from top experts who are passionate about teaching. Teaching what you might ask? Well, thousands of video courses on demand about all kinds of subjects, whether it's digital photography, video editing, business, or, well, all the other things that I'm sure are going to be overlaid on the screen right now in front of me. Woo! You can take notes as you go, refer to them later. You can download the tutorials and watch them on the go, including on iOS and Android devices. And you can create and save playlists of courses that you want to watch to customize your learning path or share with friends, colleagues, and team members. So the call to action here is pretty simple. Visit lynda.com slash techquickie for unlimited access for 10 days for free. And if you like it, then your flat rate Membership is starting at just $25 per month. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff for more videos for me and other people.